Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, welcome back, everybody. Time to lock down MTGO. Clicking the wrong buttons, but we are playing some popper slivers. And, uh, this is an interesting hand, but I think we can keep this one. We got a couple one drops we can play. We're gonna be a turn behind, but. Fiverland, Sidewinding, we got Vines, we got Benevolent, so I'm okay with keeping this for now. Hopefully we'll draw into another land, though. Well, I'm just uh, doing a quick recording here for the day, just to get a video out for the day, but uh, my plans here are to... Hmm, you know, what should I play? I guess let's go... Let's put out Viverland. My plans are to play the Popper Tournament tonight and have those matches up for you guys starting next week so all next week we should have some uh some tournament matches finally they flip already cool that's good so they got a nasty clock on us but uh, i'm a little bit tired today I had a long day yesterday it was uh fourth of july hopefully everybody had a good holiday a long day full of uh Lots of family parties and stuff. Well, we're not getting in here with what we need, which is not good. I guess we're gonna put out flanking. So now we can at least tack into the Delver. Nothing we can do yet about their clock. It's unfortunate. Let's see if they flip their second Delver here. If they do, we're in a lot of trouble. And they do. Awesome. Dispel. Oh, huh, okay. Augur, they're cranking off. They had a good hand. They had a really good hand. Agony Warp, huh? Oh, that's a good card. Ooh. This is gonna hurt. Oh, there's our plane. So, um... Instant spell. What do we need to get out here? Hmm. I guess we'll just go predatory. We're on a two-turn clock, though. It's not pretty. We need to draw into uh, some journeys. Hmm, maybe I should have put out... Mm, you know what I should have done? I should have put out Plated and Benevolent. To protect myself against Agony Warp or Chainer's Edict, even. But I don't think it's going to matter too much. They, uh. They have us dead to rights, pretty much. Yeah. We can't. What can we do here? Swing in. We can hit them for 610. That's about it, right? Yeah. Alright, we'll go to game two. And we'll bring in Sunlance. We'll bring in our extra journey. We'll bring in Gutshot. Kill the Delvers if we need to. And what else do we need from this deck? Oh, I don't know. Uh, we definitely want our Reach, guys. We'll take out Sentinel. And we'll take out... Let's see. Um, debating if we want to just take out Benevolence. Uh, no, we'll keep him in. Senior Muscle. Let's take out... They probably won't be blocking much, so we might be able to get rid of a Sidewinder. Maybe one Winding Way. And... Uh, maybe let's trim back on one journey. Yeah, we'll do one journey out. We'll keep one out. We'll try it. We'll try it like this. Mm, 
Yeah, I'll play first. This is a good hand. We'll keep it. Start with our poisonous. We'll get the flanking going next turn. We're just the Lord. Hmm, that's good. Get an extra turn here. Uh, so I think we'll go Lord then. Start getting some power on the board. Before stuff gets up uh, to counter. Yeah, there we go. Soul Reap, destroy target. Uh, cast another black spell this turn. Oh, that's a bummer. But we got more to replace it, so it's okay. Other planes, pretty good actually. Start dumping our hand here a little bit. Wish we had a little bit of protection, but not yet. We can at least refill our hand, which is nice. What you got for me, Empress? Chainer's Edict. Okay. We will just take out our Sidewinder. No big deal there. They're tapping out pretty heavily too, so... Well, I think we'll drop the Lord and get back some creatures. Refill our hand. Nice. I love it. I love it. We've got him on a hard clock here. Still no protection, but... See so that? Yeah, they're digging. It's gonna be tough for them. Blue black control still working its way through popper. Ghastly demise equal the number. Okay, no big deal. Uh, well, we're gonna do this. Sure. Fine. Looks like we'll probably be going to game three. Yes, we are. Cool. This guy's playing fast. I like it. Uh, Alright, I think what we had is fine, honestly, so let's run it back. Game three. It's a toss-up with uh, blue-black control against slivers, honestly. If they can counter our initial stuff, it's hard for us to compete and come back in. But even that first game, man, the two the two delvers, and then the both of them flipped immediately. That's that's hard to that's hard to beat, especially if we don't have our spinner rat out. That's it's even more difficult. So, oh, just wait for them here. All right, here we go. Good hand. I like it. Refill. We got everything. We can play everything. Ooh. All right. That tells me... Okay, they're just going to search right away. That's fine. Oh, plated. Don't mind if I do. Good. Good one drop to start. Pretty vulnerable. They can take it out pretty quickly, but. There's Delver. Alright. So it begins. Ooh. 
Let's see if he flips. We're both going to have a decent clock if they do end up flipping him. So. He's going too blue. No flip. No flip. All right, good. That's good for us. They got their black, so we might see a removal here. Mental don't put it on. Okay, draw a card. That's fine. We might see this one as that second spell one. Yep. Uh, equal to number of cards in your graveyard. Fine. Yeah. Makes sense that they attack in here. They're not going to block. Not until that thing flips. All right. Let's see. Let's keep dropping the lords. draw me into one more forest mana that we can hold up to protection that'd be excellent honestly if we can get another turn with an extra lord on the battlefield that'd be very nice that'll help us a lot so next turn we need to draw forest we can drop a lord if this one because this one could die this turn again which wouldn't surprise me but we'll see no flip fingers crossed no flip oh i flipped them thought scour okay no big deal we still got a good clock. All right, Castle and Mine. See, that's why I want this vines. I want this vines up. It's not good. I need uh, an extra force so we can hold that up. Just tapping out for Augur. Fair enough. I got a blocker for a turn too. It's not great. Hmm, we just keep finding lords, but we're only doing one a turn. Ah, I actually don't want to attack. There's no point in the attack. Until notes. You may see Gurmog. Gurmog would be strong right now. Yep, called it. That's not good. We need ways to deal with this. Another vines, but uh, it's not helping us too much. We'll try to play this. Probably get countered, maybe? Actually, no, they got the thought score. Yeah, alright, so we're good on that end. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, and we'll just skip through here. Hope for the best, but uh, probably going to be taking a lot of damage this turn. Three, eight. We're going to take the damage this turn. Hope for a lot on the crackback. Gaining one. Alright, well, there we go. So, now we can hold up some protection. And we will have to chump block. But... It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be a tight game. surprise me if they just try to attack in with just the apparition oh but they're going full force uh, all right well, we have to block this guy unfortunately he will die passes it back to me We're going to try to... Let's attack first. 
because we're not really going to play a Lord this turn. Three. All right, which one is the one that's getting negative three? This one? All right. Cast. That'll be there. Well, I messed this up anyways, because I, I didn't want... Well, I shouldn't have attacked it with all my creatures. I needed a blocker back. So I just completely screwed that up. Uh, so yeah, so they won, because now they can just attack in with the thing. Yeah, I forgot about that. So they uh, they beat me here. Because I was going to do this. To this guy. Oh, I can't do it yet. Cancel. Just undo that. There we go. Huh, we got him to three. Too bad we can't deal this to his face. That'd be cool. Ah, well. We'll see if they accidentally skip through their step, but probably not. GG. Good game. I, I messed that up. I uh, For some reason, I was thinking I was going to play a creature, but then I attacked and I was like, yeah, I won't play a creature. And then I realized, oh yeah, I needed a creature. Should have went with my instinct to play the creature. But that's all right. I think uh, it would have been close still. Even if I had played uh, a creature, we wouldn't have been able to hold up protection. So they could have just killed our creature and, and swung in to win anyways. If they had removal, which they probably did. I couldn't have held up vines and played a creature that turn, which was the biggest thing. I could Sunlancer Aberration uh, and play a Muscle Sliver, and that's it. So then we're, we're prone to removal. I could have maybe swung in with just one, one Sliver, left up two just in case. That could have been a thing, a line I could have taken, but if I had played the creature out like I, I probably should have, would have, I would have played the Muscle, Sunlancer the Aberration, swung in with the other ones, had a blocker up, but then I'm just prone to removal, so it might have died and we would have lost anyways. If I had pulled back with an extra creature, I might have been able to remove it too, I don't know, but that probably would have been the best line out there, but, well, you know, hindsight 2020. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned next week. Like I said, I'm going to be recording the Popper Tournament stuff tonight, hopefully. Uh, this is the night when my kids are going to be out, and I should have the time free to do it, so stay tuned for some tournament games next week. And uh, yeah, leave a like on the video and we will see you guys in the next one.